Hey, what's up, everybody? Brent here. Hey, um, so today, I just got home from work not too long ago, and today I'm going to show you how I make my afternoon snack slash smoothie, green smoothie. Um, in case you've been living under a rock, or in case you haven't noticed, um, some of my Facebook propaganda as of late, I, um, I've become real, really health conscious. Yeah, baby. Yeah, but hold on. So anyway, I'm going to show you guys how I go about making my smoothie. It's very important to get some greens. Bradley wants to say hey. Um, a lot of people struggle with getting enough greens or vegetables or whatever. The easiest thing to do is throw it all in a blender, blend it up. You, you can hardly even tell it's there. And there are actually um, recipes all over YouTube, the internet, that can help you out. So without further ado, I'm going to show you guys how I go about doing it. Okay, this is the order that I go. Uh, you don't necessarily have to do it this way. I've just learned after the dozens and dozens, maybe hundreds of smoothies that I've made, there's a, certain, there's a certain order and there's a certain way to go about it to make it easier to blend. This is what I do. Okay. First thing I do is I put my liquid. Um, I usually use almond milk, cashew milk, uh, coconut milk, coconut water. Some people use water. It really doesn't matter. It's all about personal preference. But um, for right now, I'm going with cashew milk. And um, I'll put about a cup. I've done it so many times I don't have to measure anymore, but we're gonna go about about that much. It's about a cup. Okay. So that's the first thing I do. Second thing I do is I'm going to put half of a banana. Now, these are really big bananas, so I only do half. If I were to put this whole thing, I think it would make it too thick. In fact, it, it's done that before. Um, again, personal preference, it's all up to you. I use half a banana. The good thing about smoothie is that it can have a little bit of bruising on it and you won't even notice. So I'm just gonna tear that into smaller pieces. Banana. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some almond butter. I do like to thicken it up just a little bit. Plus almond butter is pretty good for you. I use uh, natural almond butter not sweetened. Uh, you can get this. We get it at HEB. You can probably get it anywhere. Um, do about about two tablespoons. Just dump it off in there. Okay. And I'll be right back. I'm gonna rinse this. Okay, all rinsed. Now, the reason it's important to do that is because there are so many things that you can put in a smoothie. Uh, you don't necessarily want mixing in your other containers, like uh, turmeric, or um, all types of seeds, Splenda, you know, uh, flax seeds, and all that kind of stuff. Anyway. You don't want a dirty spoon and go mixing in containers. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some Greek yogurt. Now, usually I don't consume dairy products. Um, dairy products are real inflammatory. And the only reason I make exception to Greek yogurt is because Greek yogurt is a really good probiotic and the way I eat, sometimes it's hard to get, you know, certain amounts of 
fiber or whatever the case. And uh, it's never a bad thing to add a, uh, a good probiotic. Okay, about the same amount, about two uh, tablespoons, about a tablespoon and a half or so. Okay. Right, I'm just gonna sit that right there. Move this out of the way. <clears throat> okay. Next thing I'm going to do this time, because it's what I have, I'm going to add some fresh organic raspberries. Now, berries are really good for you and really healthy. It doesn't have to be raspberries, it can be blueberries, strawberries, it can really be any fruit that you want. Like I said, there are recipes everywhere at your disposal everywhere so I don't know I think I put about 10 it's usually what I do so I have half a, half a banana and about 10 raspberries okay last but not least some greens uh, again it doesn't matter I prefer baby spinach just because I like the way that it mixes. You don't have to use that. Some people use mixed greens. Some people use kale. Um, really, it's personal preference. I find that um, I'm not a real big fan of the way kale tastes. Not that it's not really good for you. It's extremely healthy. And um, I do recommend mixing up your greens from time to time. Hold on, just so um, don't use the same thing over and over again. Maybe mix it up once every week or two weeks. Yeah, you can do that. So this is where you can put as much as however much room you have. I will generally try to do a couple of decent sized handfuls. You don't want to just overfill it. This is where you have to kind of get good with uh, the amount of liquid you put in there because it can get out of control if you let it. So um, that was about one and a half handfuls, not big hands, of baby spinach leaves. I'm going to put a little bit more. This is another reason why you have to kind of play around with which greens that you want. Some of them are harder to load than others. These are pretty good, pretty easy. Okay. Jeez, childproof. check to make sure that your lid is on good and straight because it can be quite a mess if you don't do it correctly if you don't have one of these you should really consider getting one these things are awesome My butter kind of gets stuck to the side. What I normally do is I'll pulse it for one or two good times and then uh, make sure that the everything's kind of off the side and then I'll put it back and try one more time. Go ahead. 
All right, so. Okay, so that's it. Some people struggle getting enough greens. I just showed you how to get some greens a very easy way. And I'll show you my thought on the smoothie that I just made. Now I can tell you, when you go adding a bunch of stuff, because that's what I used to do. I used to just add all kinds of everything that I thought was healthy, I would just add and add and add. The more stuff you add, the more brown it's gonna be. Not that it tastes any different or worse. Just, just brown. Okay. You know what I forgot? Hold on one second. I just forgot until just right now, when I opened the lid and looked at it, that it looked a little bit thicker than normal, and it looked like it was not going to be very cold. Now, there's a really good way to remedy that. Two pieces of ice. So I am going to put a couple of pieces of ice I'm gonna do it again now, honestly I'm glad that happened because it's a lot easier to put ice in after you have blended it up some because If you try to shove ice down in with all of that stuff, geez, it, it's a good way to spill it. It's a good way to make it, uh, there, there we go. It's a good way to make it bust out of the sides when you put the lid on. You don't want that. time and it should grind up pretty nice these ninja uh, blenders they're the real deal I probably always do it more than I should but I want to make sure everything is See, I can already tell just by grabbing it that it is much colder. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. Here we go. Taste test. You guys saw what I put in here. This is pretty much about what I do every time. Um, sometimes I'll put honey. Actually, I don't need to this time because that Greek yogurt that I use actually has honey in it. So, um, here we go. Taste test. It's so good. Really good. And really simple. And, um... I try to do that every day. Honestly, I don't do it enough. <clears throat> In all actuality, I probably should do a smoothie for breakfast with my breakfast, and then again when I get home, just because you can never have too many vegetables, you can never have too much greens, you can never have too much, well, you can't have too much fruit because it does have sugar. Even though it's a natural sugar, which is a lot better than processed sugar, still, uh, it's still sugar, so, uh, I don't know, but that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed the video, give a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe if you haven't done so. Um, hit the little notification bell. Leave a comment if you have any comments or if you have any ideas or suggestions or questions or whatever. Um, I'm not new. 
to the green smoothie game, but once I found <laughs> once I found a combination that was good enough, I pretty much stopped. I stopped exploring. So I know that there are, like I said, endless recipes, YouTube, internet. I mean, just do a simple Google search, and they have all kinds of flavors and you know whatever it is that you like, whether it be peanut butter flavored or chocolate or whatever it's out there I've even put avocados in my smoothies before it's not bad honestly you can't taste it you, you I, I don't know it, it's hard to even realize it that's why I said that's why I just stuffed as much greens in there as I could because you can't tell you know it tastes I don't know it tastes banana and I don't know it's good to me. So anyway, um, appreciate you hanging out with me. Uh, be sure and come back. I don't know. I'm terrible in ending, ending these videos. But um, anyway, like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. Feel free to leave comments. And I will see you guys next time. Pura Vida. Mm -hmm.